Hey, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Web. We are here at the Nokia Center at the Legacy Lounge celebrating the MTV VMA Awards. And of course, <laughs> geez, I'm telling you, we're with Barbara Allen <laughs> Alan Woods. Woods. <laughs> with, with a show from the CW called One Tree Hill. Now, you've been on there for six years? Well, this is kind of exciting because this is the first interview I've done since I found out I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah, I um, I was on the show for about six years and uh, left to move back to Los Angeles. My kids were working like crazy. Um, my husband's in the business and he was working and we just had to sort of get back to LA and um, just two days ago, um, wow. I was asked to come back. So I'll be going back to Wilmington, North Carolina and becoming Deb again. Becoming Deb again? Yes. Okay. Now that is really exciting because see part of it is one of the people that I've interviewed several times, Michael Copan, was on One Tree Hill. Yes. He, he's been on okay, let's just say there was a huge billboard in uh, Times Square with him. On oh the I didn't music. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, but All he right. was on One Tree Hill and he yes. had a ball with that. He's a doll. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I was on the show during that time. Um, you know, we're just so fortunate. We've had, you know, since I've been here today, I've had so many people come up asking me if they knew certain people who've been on the show. When you're on it for so long, so many people come and go. But I'm really kind of excited to go back and Does this just feel like kind a of family reunion. Well, wrap it up. It'll be a family reunion. I'm not sure who else is coming back, but um, yeah, coincidence. Chad Michael Murray played my daughter Emily Allen Lynn's father in in a movie called The Haunting in Georgia. Well. Now, okay, here's part of it. Emily is your daughter. Emily, Alan Lind is my daughter. Okay. She's nine years old. And um, com complete coincidence, Chad played her father. Complete coincidence? Complete, wow. had nothing to do with me. We have different last names, so a lot of people don't ever associate myself with my daughters. Right. Um, because I kept my um, maiden name. Um, but yeah, so I hung out with Chad on Aww. set, but I was the stage mom for that period of time. <laughs> And it was just, it was really sort of surreal and wonderful. And he played, he was a great father. He played just a great dad. Well, what is this movie you're talking about, The, the Haunting in... She was in a movie called The Haunting in Georgia, oh. which was sort of a sequel to The Haunting in Connecticut. Oh. Scatty. Scatty. Is she that coming out She during talks Halloween? to dead people. Oh, she does? I hope oh. that it does. Oh, I'm not supposed to say? No, um, it's okay. Please, yeah, I think, I think. Um, I think it might be coming out next year. Okay, because, yeah. you know, it, it sounds like a Halloween yes, movie. Yes, yes. Now, one of the things I'm always curious about is every time I see those, I always have these visions, like, if you are an actor, it's like, do you, in your mom, it's like, do you personally see them have nightmares because of I shows was, like that? you know, I guess you could call me a scream queen when I first started. Um, <laughs> so I really know all the, you know, ins and outs and what's real and what's not, and you know, my kids have been on set since they were babies and they just know that it's all, you know, make believe. And so there's never been a time, especially shooting that movie with monsters and strange things happening, that she went home thinking that it's real or that it would happen oh, to her. Okay. I mean, they can really completely disassociate themselves from <laughs> okay. It's scarier watching the movie than it is shooting it. Okay. And it also gives them a place to act out things that you know, you know. Oh, kids, kids love to make believe scary things. It's great. It was fun to be in a scary movie. Yeah. yeah. Scream. Wait yeah. a minute. Is there a secret to? You said you're a scream. Queen. I was. I was the actress that would trip over nothing. You know, like I'm running, running, ah, and I trip over nothing. <laughs> oh, I had that down. I, I've taught them how to do that. They do that very well. <laughs> wait, wait. Did you have some tumbling background? I mean, because you know, you got to fall. You got to fall. No, make you're it just, look you're real, just but in not the moment. Yourself. You're just in the moment, and you just do it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, screaming. Is there, <laughs> she's looking at me. I'm going, like, is there a secret, you know, like decoding your throat to help you scream really well? You just, I think I was born with it. And I think my kids have it in their genes. We're just all really good screamers. I think, you know, I think it's just something, I don't think it's something you can learn. I think really? it's something you're born with. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I was so talented. Do you, do you think we could ask you? Oh, oh, no way. Like, but you know what? You're about to meet my other daughter, and she'll do it she'll in a heartbeat. Do it. Oh, Yay! yeah. <laughs> we're going to have it. Yeah, in a heartbeat. So far. Okay, one for you're coming back. You know, that is really exciting. Um, is there anything you want to tell people, especially to watch on the show this season? Um, well, you know, actually, I want to say thank you because um, I had so many fans contacting me over this last year and a half and telling me that they wanted me to come back and that really meant a lot oh, to me that's good. so now I, I can't wait to you know Twitter and get on Facebook and let everybody know that I am coming back wait a minute you're telling us they don't even 
Yeah, your fans don't know? No, uh, I, I just found out. I mean, you were the first people oh I told. Gosh. No, it's the first Even people. Even before the Twitter feed. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. No, I haven't done anything about it yet. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to let everybody know that I am. And it's nice because the show's in its ninth season, yeah. and they'll be wrapping it up, and it'll be nice to be a part of that. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. It's it's, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, for the final season. Right, it, right. I hope everybody comes back. I can't wait. Okay, so see, part of it is, if you haven't been watching One Tree Hill, now's the time to do it because, see, here's part of it. they got all the library, and so you can go back and watch everything else that built Nine up. years. Nine. Yeah, that's right. It's incredible. You get all the history. Yeah, you know, and you don't have to be anxiously waiting from year to year. Okay, but you can watch it all right now. And see, right. you're watching it here first with Barbara. I won't tell anybody else. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, thank you. Thank so you. much. Thank we you. appreciate it. And of course, follow her on Twitter. I am to be everywhere. Absolutely. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah it's great. Thank you. Thank I wish you. everybody could do interviews like you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>